Welcome everybody to a look at the third film in the Savage Guns box set. So we're, today we're looking at 1970s Wrath of the Wind. So this is also known as The Wind's Fierce, Revenge of Trinity, Trinity Sees Red and The Wind's Anger. So the two Trinity titles there are basically because our lead actor was in two subsequent films after this called that were in like based around a character called Trinity. The first one was reasonably successful but the second film was yeah one of the biggest Italian films ever made. So after the fact, the uh, kind of retroactively tried to call this Trinity, but that's kind of a wrong kind of thing to do for this film, as we'll get to in a second. So this is a Western drama. There isn't all that much in the way of spaghetti elements to this, especially since it's a co uh, production between Spain and Italy. So I think it's more lent towards the Spanish side of things in terms of the plot and the general tone uh, but it's depending on which version you watch you've got the 97 minute version or the 106 minute version it stars terence hill who was in march or die which is a film i've seen already um it was in a gene hatman box set from imprint and uh, yeah terence hill plays secondly to gene hatman himself also stars maria grazia Bucella, who was in the likes of villa rides so this is about wealthy landowner don antonio who hires two assassins marcos and jacobo to infiltrate a group of peasant revolutionaries and kill the leaders after falling in love with the rebel soledad Marcos has a change of heart and decides to unite with the peasants. So, although there were a few stretches in this western that are lacking in any real immediacy to its plot, this is still nonetheless an engrossing effort that has a surprising amount of um, political themes to it that are actually well realised. It's not usual that you get like deep themes with these kind of films, so uh, especially the uh, ones that aren't you know made by you know your well-known directors. So yeah, it is really surprising that there's a great deal of political themes to this. Kind of reminded me of the crime films that would be really popular in Italy in the 70s. The cast is also good. It is well paced. The score is decent, although nowhere near as good as the previous two films in this box set. There is some effective tension and despite the cliches, it is overall well executed while having some entertaining moments. So, yeah. Overall, a decent effort, but it's by no means my favourite of this box set so far. It's definitely one I rank a little bit lower than the previous two at three and a half out of five, but still, it's a worthwhile effort and it's not a massive drop in quality despite, you know, not being as good as the prior two. So, there is the uh, printed disc. Also, got the reversible artwork, which I think is trying to lean more into uh, this, trying to be a comedy. Because the uh, two Trinity films that I mentioned were comedy westerns at the end of the day. And like I said, when, once they had been popular, they tried to, you know, retroactively call this film, because it stars, again, Terence Hill, uh, a comedy western, which really does not blend well at all. Um, thankfully, they didn't try and re-edit the film into a comedy, um, but they did try and market it as a comedy, which is really rather disingenuous. So, yeah. Because at the end of the day, this is quite dark, it's got really political, it's got violence in it, and yeah, there's no comedy to this whatsoever. But in terms of special edition extras, we have this film in a 2K restoration from the original 35mm camera negative. Italian and English front-end titles, with the English titles newly restored by Arrow Films for this release. Restored original lossless mono Italian and English soundtracks. English subtitles for the Italian soundtrack. Optional English subtitles for the deaf and hard of hearing for the English soundtrack. Alternate 106 minute uh, Spanish language version of the film featuring additional and extended scenes not found in the Italian or English versions. I only watched the 97 minute version and I think I got plenty out of that to be honest. The reason I went for the shorter version is because when it came to I think it was yeah it was El Puro I didn't find that the extended version added anything really necessary to that film it just felt like ex extra running time for the sake of it so i uh, skipped out on the longer version of this now whether or not you know that is the better version or not i'm not sure but i don't imagine it's going to be drastically different uh, with only nine minutes extra footage so uh yeah so yeah but if the long version is better i'd like to hear about it uh you've got brand new audio commentary by author and critic howard hughes compasinos al Poro. A uh, brand new inter introduction by journalist and critic Fabio Milelli. The Days of Wrath. Brand new interview with camera operator Roberto Diatori Piazzoli. They call it Red Cemetery, a short film from 2022 by filmmaker Francisco Lissada, serving as a love letter to the spaghetti western genre. And then you've got the alternate Revenge of Trinity opening titles, newly restored for this release, and an image gallery. So, yeah, 
that was one of the um, titles that I uh, said that this was also known as, and those you know new type those Revenge of Trinity titles were added well after the fact of this film's release, probably I think about three years or so. Um, so yeah, on the whole, it's a decent film, but by no means as good as the previous two, and yeah, definitely lacks some of the flair of those films. I mean, the previous two at least had you know really really good sound uh, scores, especially the second one. And the first one had really great, you know, inventive cinematography to go along with its excellent score as well. So this feels a little bit more plain in terms of its general execution, but the plot and the political themes are at least decently done. So there is that. So if you have seen this film before, I'd like to hear your thoughts on it, especially if you have seen the longer 106 minute version. But nonetheless, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.